Announcements on the campaign trail rehashed old platform staples and showed a complete lack of imagination when it came to new ideas and policies. However, one aspect of the most boring circus in town really stood out. I'm talking about the strangely transfixing slogans the Prime Minister repeated throughout the campaign. Things like, how good's mum? The promise of Australia? And of course, the classic, if you have a go, you get a go. The last one especially made my ears bleed and I haven't been able to unhear it since. I mean, and maybe it's worth asking because I still don't get how it happened and there needs to be some sort of explanation. Was it language that won the election? Uh, no, not entirely. Sorry, um, who, who are you? Uh, this week, I'm political language expert Scrot Finkwick. Okay. <laughs> um, welcome to the leak, Scrot. So you don't think language played a part in this election? <laughs> Well, no, I think it played a huge part in his win. If you'd been listening to my language earlier, you would have heard I said it wasn't the entire reason. I think it's a big one, though. I feel like I already hate you, but we've just met. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the power of language. <laughs> if it's used in the right way, it can bypass logic and make you feel things. Things like, maybe Scrot is a real cool guy with a lot going on in his life. And also things like, maybe I should vote for this strange, empty vessel of a man. Mm, mm, I see. So um, how exactly did the slogans work? Like, what about them led us to this place? OK, well, let's focus on Morrison's classic line, if you have a go, you get a go. To understand the Prime Minister's speechwriter's true genius, we really need to break this down into its constituent parts. All right, then. Okay, go let's ahead. begin with if. The phrase begins with a condition. If something happens, something else may or may not happen. A whiff of suspense draws us in. And then, quick on its heels, comes you. The listener now knows that they are an active participant in these proceedings. Very exciting. A man of the people, Morrison, has drawn them in. The condition is now theirs. If they do something, who knows what will occur or not occur. I feel like it's just a meaningless phrase, <laughs> OK, well, before we linger on it too long, the next word clarifies a simple ah. Uh, if you have a... Uh. Look, we are certainly under the possessive here, Rose, and the phrase is growing ever more clear. If you have a... Uh, what? A coffee? An apple? A human soul? I mean, it's go. Like, it's clearly yes, go. Yes, go! If you have a go, the previous four words have tumbled forward, each providing context to the last. I mean, that's just how sentences work, though, really, isn't <laughs> it? Go! Has a multitude of meanings to travel, to leave, to attempt, and it is this last definition that we are left with. If you have an attempt, then what? You, again, if you have an attempt, something may happen to or for or around you. Once more, unto the common people. I'm on the edge of my seat, Prime Minister. I simply cannot contain myself. Then comes Will. <laughs> will. A statement of certainty, of absolute truth. If this happens, this will happen. There is no question or hesitation. If you have a go, you S will... Scott, did you ever actually study languages? <laughs> okay, well, language is for everyone, but especially for me. If you have a go, you will get. You will receive something, perhaps an award or a trophy of some kind. But no, it is something even better. For the end is here. A go. You will receive a go, the thing you already had, and here is where it all comes together. I mean... This all means nothing, though. <laughs> False, incorrect, absolute rubbish. This repetitious simplicity belies a devastating complexity. Is this new go at the end of the sentence the same go we had encountered moments earlier, or a new, shiny go? Because what of the go? Is there a cycle of goes where only those in possession of a go will continue to receive goes? Who had the go in the first place? Will some people crumble under the immense weight of the goes they are having and then, in turn, getting? Will their minds shatter? I think, yes. Yeah, um, I'd say it's already happened to some of us. <laughs> well, the key here is the guarantee only runs one way. If you have a go, you will definitely get a go. If you do not have a go, well, there is no certainty that you will get a go. This isn't a logic puzzle, Rose. It's a grand statement of truth. Well, I mean, I thought what was just intended there was to make people feel like if they worked hard, they'd have an opportunity to get ahead in life. What? <laughs> well, you know, like that they could achieve things if they wanted, so it kind of gives them hope, you know? <laughs> I, get, I think you're reading too much into it. Um, uh, I'm not sure the Prime Minister is capable of giving hope. Well, um, yeah, no, I think we, uh, we agree there. Uh, that's language expert Scrot Finkwick, everybody. Thank you, Scrot. Yeah.